yesterday late afternoon and uh, we found some condensation it was causing a small water leak um, this is just a temporary solution where I had to sneak off and get a, a just a small uh, condensation pump but uh, uh, just wanted to make sure they had something that was running overnight still um, but it was really interesting um, condensation was forming on this uh, aqua mini blue on a number of points but also on the on the unit itself um, on the drip tray so it wasn't actually overflowing from the high point uh, it was condensation forming underneath the unit um, and so this pump has been uh, installed badly the first time when I came out here uh, and it's probably five to six years old but a lot of condensation around here these grease are pretty interesting. Terminal three is the actual power. Cool, looks like we're, uh, we're isolated. Quite a nice pump. Um, adjustable speeds on the pump, so it really suits the size of the unit that you're installing it on. We're just gonna go with the default settings at uh, medium to low for this little grease. Um, you can see you've got a port for your sensor, uh, your inlet, where you bring your small uh, hose pipe into the actual pump uh, from the reservoir and then just underneath is the, um, the USB port where you can plug in and connect it with Revco software to determine um, pump alarms as well as uh, date of installation and bits and pieces for warranty. Uh, there's the LED which will blink and illuminate on the discharge side. Um, underneath here is your, your power connections. Uh, and then uh, underneath that little cap is the, uh, I think it's a 10 amp glass fuse. Um, so anyway, we'll see how it goes. We're installing it up underneath there. So I've just done a mock up and um, we are gonna go for uh, this particular layout. So pump in into the water sensor, then into the pump, and then discharge out of the unit. It's flipped for this particular application, but uh, that's, that's, the, that's what we're gonna be doing here. Um, yeah, just gonna follow through the steps. Uh, put the horizontal, through the hose on, uh, and then start connecting it as such. As we walk through these steps, we'll see how we go. Uh, we will be using the alarm contacts as well. Um, so now that we've uh, safely secured and found out what's a supply leak, so we'll actually be breaking the supply to the unit. So if it ever sends a high level alarm, or there's any issues either with the pump, um, it'll actually turn the unit off. Um, we're going to be wiring in the alarm contacts um, and just going through uh, default standard where these alarm contacts are normally closed. Uh, and then when the alarm is activated by the pump, open circuit. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, got some cabling which goes to the indoor PCB. Uh, and this is the wiring instructions I think we're gonna go for here. So we'll pick up this live coming from the outdoor unit to the indoor fan core unit. Uh, here's where we're gonna break it. So we'll bring a feed straight down to the, the Gobi pump. Uh, at the same time, we'll pair off that live uh, 240 volt uh, to the uh, open side um, of the normally closed set of contacts, the common. Uh, then we go back through the normally closed switch in the Gobi and then land it back into your standard uh, line side, your 240 volt that would feed typically the indoor fan core unit. So again, we're just breaking this here. So typically this line would be connected straight up here. So we're just causing one to be split to bring power and then the other one going through the alarm contacts straight through. Cool, let's see how we go. It's kind of looking up now as we mark it up with the cable ties on your suction and then your your reservoir connected to the sensor on the Gobi. So we just kind of mock it up here. I added some insulation uh, and then we'll take that off with flex tape, insulated flex tape, and then uh, we'll work on the power. the moment of truth. We're going to see if uh, this little guy actually pumps. Let's 
see that, but that's uh, it's pumping water out. 